Okay, so we've got optical heart rate here as the purple line for the 955, and the blue line is from the HRM Pro heart rate strap as recorded on 945. And you can see for this run here, which is about a mile, these two traces are actually very good. So you might argue that the optical heart rate on the 955 is looking pretty good. Let's delve into it a bit more. Hello everybody, here you today, okay? Welcome to a place called Compton. I've had a nice little quiet country lane here to continue my 4 on a 955 testing. I thought this time, I, instead of looking at uh, GPS accuracy, if I link up to the previous video, I'll look at optical heart rate. Now, if you remember, I did a video on optical heart rate a few months ago when I looked at the heart rate on the 945 and the 245 and showed you how you can potentially improve the readings by moving up the wrist a bit. So what I'm going to do first of all today is wear the watch in its normal position there and then I'm going to move it up the wrist and then repeat the test. So I think first of all I'll just go for like a normal sort of steady run for about 10 minutes or so, collect some data and then we'll put the watch a bit higher up the wrist to see if we can get any better readings and then I'll finish off by doing a couple of strides up this nice little lane here and see how it reacts when the sort of heart rate changes a bit more quickly because obviously that's going to be the acid test really for this sort of optical heart rate. So normally I wear a Garmin HRM Pro heart rate strap and I've got one today so I've paired that to the 945 and be very careful to unpair it to the 955. So heart rate strap is kind of like the gold standard and the optical heart rate you hope to get that as close as possible but there's a, very occasionally the heart rate strap might go wobbly but more often than not it's pretty good so uh, we'll use that as the test right let's get on this little run okay so we're on for about five minutes now and the heart rate's doing okay actually i've got uh one two six on the optical and i've got one two five on this one so pretty close so maybe i won't even need to put it up the arm Maybe this is just good as it is. I've got to say, actually, this is the Elevate 4 heart rate version, so I understand. I think it's also on the Felix Seppin watches as well. So, yeah, so far so good. Okay, so that was rather promising. The 955 set at an average heart rate of 117 with a maximum of 127. And the 945 was more or less the same, average of 116 and a maximum of 126. So okay, so this is from the DC Rainmaker tool for this run here. So the blue line is the HRM Pro heart rate from the heart rate strap, for, uh, as recorded on the 945. And the purple line is the optical heart rate from just from the wrist on the 955. So you can see, as well as the averages and maximums, as I just said, they're just being one beat out. The actual shape of these two profiles is very, very similar. And the only perhaps separation perhaps is towards the end here. We've got basically about seven beats per minute difference. But for the purposes of a steady run, we just wanted a reasonable idea of what your heart rate was, then you would think that this is more than acceptable. So let's just try it now with up the wrist a bit and see if it's any better. So that's in the normal position. Just apologies if I'm upside down. So I'm just going to loosen the watch a bit and move it up the wrist a bit. So it's basically one watch width up. So you can see my sort of suntan there. So then I wanna kind of tighten that one up. So it's just a bit tighter than before. So it's not really moving. There's no real light getting in between here. And then we'll see how we go. The problem with this position, it just feels a bit unnatural, but we'll have to be interesting to see whether there's actually any need to do this this time because previously with the 945 it definitely was a lot better when you moved it up here what you don't want to do is have two watches on the same wrist you don't want to have one there and one there because it will interfere with the heart rate supposedly so it'll be a bit awkward as well so that's why you've got the different watches on the different wrists for testing so this is one still paired to the hrm pro heart rate strap that i've got on underneath my swift top okay so it's rather hot tonight so uh, just doing a mile uh, eight minute marling was quite a struggle but but uh, we'll do one more lap, and then we'll maybe take in some strides. So near the end of the second lap with the 955 a bit up the wrist a bit here like this. And so we've got one, two, one on the 955 and 120 on the 945. So again, it's looking very promising. Okay, we're finishing the run outside the Withies Inn in Compton. Nice little puppy. I've never actually been in here, but it looks nice. I think we imagine tonight would be packed because it's really, really warm and it's probably going to be a sort of high 20 still it was in the 30s earlier on so yeah quite impressive for running okay so just reviewing the data the 955 had an average of 120 with a maximum of 128 and the 945 had an average also of 120 with a maximum of 127 so almost perfect correlation i did notice a few beats difference occasionally when i was looking at the both watches but i think that's probably about as best you can hope for okay so this is from dc rainmaker from this run where i had the 955 up the wrist a bit and i think this is actually done slightly better the averages there were almost identical the actual 
averages to, to the nearest 0 0.01 are literally only about 0 0.1 out so i would say that also the shape of the graph is just marginally better so if you were wanting to pick between this one and the previous one i just flick the between the two there that's with up the wrist that's with the normal wrist position then i would say that those two were pretty good but i think just give the nod slightly to up the wrist position but i think it's perhaps an example where if you're having problems with it in its normal position it's just not working for you try it there and see if it's any better but maybe you don't necessarily need to use it up the wrist all the time if you just don't like wearing it there i think if i do use optical heart rate and i want to get the best chance of getting a good values this is what i would probably use because I've just tr tried and tested for me that it works better. Also, what I did too is shave my arm slightly where the watch is, so that may improve things slightly because of less hair. Okay, so I've just done another run for about two miles, wearing the watch up the wrist for a bit and then down the wrist for a bit, and heart rates look pretty similar, so we'll review that one. And here again, the blue line is the HRM Pro heart rate strap data as recorded on the 945, and the purple line is the optical heart rate as recorded on the 955. And again, it's looking pretty good here. For the most of this run, I had it up the wrist. And I think it was only sort of on this sort of flat a bit here at the end when I pushed it back down the wrist. And maybe I would argue that it's doing a bit more wobbly there. Maybe not much in it. Perhaps it's hard to tell. But I think what I would say is that you know, these two lines are looking pretty similar. And for the purposes of a steady run, they seem to do fine. So what I'm going to do is two strides with the 955 in its normal position there on the wrist see it like that and they're going to move it up the wrist a bit and it's supposedly better position and do two more strides we've got a little um, uphill here and a little downhill very slightly so just see if we can get the heart rate up to rise quite quickly maybe from sort of like resting around about 100 110 now they've been for a little run maybe up to about 140 quickly and just see how that reacts Okay, so, uh, the four strides done, two sets of two there with the second set with the watch up the wrist a bit. I'd say that probably that there's a bit of a lag, but we'll go inside and have a look at the heart rate in more detail. Okay, so this is the D2 Rain Main analysis of the two strides where I had the watch in its normal wrist position on the 955. As normal, the 955 is the purple line here, the optical heart rate, and the blue line is from the HRM Pro heart rate strap. So I think this is where, though it's not looking quite so good, the two strides I did were about 45 seconds in length, and you can see that the blue line from the heart rate strap on the first one, it actually climbs a lot more quickly. The optical heart rate eventually gets there when I stop running, but you can see there's definitely a bit of a lag there. And on the second one, the heart rate was already fairly high. You can see it sort of drops down more quickly with the heart rate strap. And then when it ramps up again, again, there's a bit of a lag, but it actually did better the second time, I would say, but still a bit of a lag. It's still like right at the end, I actually stopped the watch when I finished the stride here. Perhaps I should have kept it going a bit longer to see the recoveries, but Again, you can see, well, it gives you a bit of an idea, but this is a bit disappointing. So if we flick over to its position when I had it up the wrist, again on the first one, it's not doing great, but it does eventually get there. So I think if you're doing a long interval, maybe the fact there's a bit of a lag, maybe not so bad. But on the second one, it did do a lot better. The two lines are pretty close together there. So I think I would say again that having its position up the wrist it's certainly not making things worse and I think you can definitely see that there are, is potential to have slightly better readings. Perhaps I need to do some further testing with running for longer. I hope you can see that this is kind of okay but if you want the very best results then perhaps still the heart rate strap is the best solution. So I hope you enjoyed this look at the Elevate 4 optical heart rate on the new 4Runner 955. What do you think? Do you think this is good enough for you or do you think you would still need a heart rate strap if you wanted to get your best heart rate readings? Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this one. Like and subscribe on that and see you in the next one then. Bye.